search for a disquieting piece of news about current events, a headline or news article, for example, to bring into your practice. It should be information that's difficult or upsetting without being too overwhelming. The story you choose could be about the school shooting, a local act of violence, or a story about climate change, whatever feels important to focus on. Now sit down, and as you read the news headline, check in with your body. Noticing any sensations, feelings, images, or impressions that arise. Are you reading the headline intellectually, but feeling emotionally or physically numb or disconnected? Do you experience an activation of fear, stress, or upset? Or do you notice a sense of felt connection to the event? The point of the practice is not to be able to feel or sense the event. The point is to see our limitations. We practice global social witnessing in order to become aware of our edge, where the capacity for being an embodied witness stops. The end of your ability to sense and feel marks the beginning of the collective unconscious or collective absence. The overwhelming nature of the information reduces the function of collective witnessing or presence so that the energy of these events doesn't get processed or reconciled and must therefore repeat. Widespread use of the internet and mobile devices makes us think of ourselves as super-informed. Yet numbness, absence and overwhelm are all too common. These responses to collective trauma prevent us from fully metabolizing the information we experience. However, we can all be more mindful about how we consume the news and engage the three-sync practice as we do so. A global social witnessing practice can also be powerful in groups, where members of the group share their inner experience with others who bring their attunement, presence and witness to the whole. <laughs> 